Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Harrison, and welcome to episode 9, I believe, of my Recycler View Android tutorial. So, where we left off, we had the web, we just launched a web activity from our list view, or from our Recycler View, rather. But when we click on it, it's just a, uh, there's no indicator indicating that we touched the icon. So, let's go ahead and change that so the user knows what they're pressing. Let's go back. I'm just going to. Exit out of that. This will be really quick. Go drawable, right click, new, drawable resource file. We're going to call it selector. Inside list, let's go ahead and code it out. Um, let me move my coffee real quick. Um, item Android state press. This is you know when it is pressed, what it should show. So if pressed equals true, that means the user pressed it. Um, let's do this shape. You can use any hex color you want. I'm going to use kind of a light blue 50-0066-FF. So real quick, the first 50 is the alpha channel, or rather the uh, opacity, so I'm going 50%. You can leave it out for that full color. You can kind of see on the left-hand side it's a solid blue. When I type in 50, it becomes a lot lighter. So again, I'm doing a light, light blue, or just a, you know, a good blue, but um, kind of, kind of opaque. Android state focused. Again, we're doing selections. These are kind of the three ones you do: state press, state focused. Um, I think you do state pressed when it's false as well. You can change these colors to whatever you want. You can experiment. Let's kind of keep it simple. Simple does it. And we're going to do the same one. Uh, put the hashtag there 500066FF. That's it right now. Let's exit out of there. Oh, I did not close out my above shape right here. Keep the eyes there. Item Android um, state pressed. So when it is not pressed, we just want the background to be white. Um, shape. color I'm gonna go white again you can do whatever you want but I'm gonna go white FFF and that should be good right cool now let's put it to our selection or ah oh, we did not exit out of this there we go alright we need to put this right here my bad there we go makes a lot more sense now um, cool. Now we gotta put it as the background of our list row, I believe. So open up our list row. So under under the relative layout, we'll go Android. What am I doing? What am I doing? Android background. Drawable selector. 
So now it knows that when it's pressed, it's going to go blue, and when it's not pressed, it'll go white. Uh, let's also open up the main activity. Because I saw that the activity kind of had a gray background. I guess that's fine for now. I kind of like it white, though. Um, see, you, you kind of see it online, right? I mean, gosh, my bad. So this is gray, this is white. I guess it's a good indication of what's different or what the recycler view is taken up. But again, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to change the background to white. Uh, hashtag FFF, right? Okay. Um, save, right? Yeah, let's um, save. And now let's run it. Let's see what breaks. Is five okay? Emulator work, Just work emulator. Emulate this bad boy. Oh, oh, I think it's going. Cool. So we have our the pictures of our puppies, and um, let's click it and see what happens. So you saw that good little blue appear. So it knows when it's clicked. Um, once it pops up, we'll go back, and I believe I'll be able to scroll through and. You know, I think I'll be able to like hold down the press and you'll be able to see the blue a little bit better. But it's a good indication that, you know, the user pressed the button. Or pressed the row, rather. Ah, good little pup. She looks awesome. Go back. So we got that good little blue, blue popping up. It didn't pop up there. There we go. That's so kind of indicating. So again, and I'm just holding down the mouse. So if someone's just kind of holding down, and just kind of scrolling through, it kind of knows where their finger is. And, um, but yeah, it's a very good little button push we have going. I think that should be it for this video. Next video, we'll be adding another function, uh, so we can create like the endless scroller uh, function because. The load more function. So each time they hit the 25, you're, you're, the user is going to have to load more. And that's going to call a different function that kind of manipulates the URL to the next page. So we'll get into that. So with that, see you in the next episode.